wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. We wish you a world of luck, and we hope that you can come back sometime and visit. Love you. Sharon, I am going to miss you so much. The past 16 years have just been awesome. We've made the best team together. Um, it's going to be very strange without having you as my right-hand person, um, but I know you're moving on to bigger and better things. I wish you the best of luck in your retirement, um, the best of luck with your new grandbaby, and definitely come back and visit us and come in one day and we'll have lunch. So love you, um, have a wonderful summer, and I know we'll stay in touch and I'll see you soon. Ruth has been the moral compass in our department for the past 16 years. We often ask ourselves, WWRD, what would Ruth do? She's our voice of reason who talks us off a ledge. She's our calming force to some of our daily chaos. She's level-headed and she's a role model, not just as a teacher, but also as a parent. She's there to lean on, talk to, and tell us, you might not want to send that email. Ruth, everyone is so excited for this next chapter of your life. More time with Dave, more time with your grandson in Boston, and just more time to relax and float in your pool. You've touched the lives of so many at FHS, and honestly, our department might come a little unhinged without you next year. But we wish you the best of luck, and you will truly be missed. Hi, Ruth. Missed you already. Congratulations on your retirement. Even if it was for a short time, I'm gonna miss so much seeing you in the workroom every morning. It was such a nice way to start my morning. Enjoy your retirement. Have a great time with the grandbaby. Bye. Hey Ruth, congratulations on your retirement. I'm so excited for you. This is just the best time ever. You're gonna love it. It's just, I don't know how to even describe. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want however you want. It's the best. You know, Congratulations, Ruth. I'm going to miss you so much. I feel like with your retirement, I'm kind of losing my moral compass in the office. So I hope you don't mind if I call you from time to time and ask for advice. Let me know if you ever need a date to Jiva. I'll be your backup. And think of me every time you log into Netflix, because I certainly think of you every time I do. Enjoy retirement. Keep your head to and call my name out loud now. Soon I'll be not. Beth has been the life of our department ever since I got to FHS. She makes us laugh, she keeps us organized, and she always makes sure that everyone knows just what the state regs say. She is our department crusader and our absolute biggest advocate and she keeps us connected to the good stuff going on in the building. You always know she's got some good gossip when she walks in the office, closes the door behind her, and says, guys, you'll never guess what I just heard. But all kidding aside, Beth, you have touched the lives of so many at FHS, and many of those lives are the ones that really needed saving. We wish you the absolute best luck, and we hope you get to spend more time with your parents and your kids. The 209 will not be the same without you. We're gonna miss that cackle, we're gonna miss your heart, and we're gonna miss the way you answer the phone. Beth McCourt, instructional support. Hi Beth, congratulations on your retirement. You're gonna have so much fun. You will be greatly missed in our department. Enjoy. Beth, you've been like my work mom for the past five years, and honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do without your daily laughs your advice, and all the juicy gossip you bring to the special ed department. But I'm going to miss you dearly, and I hope retirement is absolutely amazing. Thank you, McCord, for everything you have done. So I hope retirement is great as possible, and thank you for everything. Happy retirement, Miss McCord. I love you so much. Now it's time for all the dance parties in the world. Bye. Hey, Beth. Congrats on the retirement. Uh, I'm definitely going to miss working with you next year, and I will really miss all the laughs we had. Uh, congrats. Beth, you kept it real this year. Thank you. I had a fun year and I'm going to miss you. Hi, Beth. Congratulations on your retirement. Our special ed department will not be the same without you, as I'm sure you really, really know that. Um, again, congratulations. Enjoy. Love you. We'll miss you terribly.
Mr. Kakainen, or Mr. K, congratulations on your retirement. You're a fine gentleman, a warm colleague, an elusive expositor if there ever was one. You come to school every day with a singular focus to help your students grow, mature, think mathematically, and reach their potential. You've taught many courses, and in particular noted for starting AP Statistics about 18 years ago. You've worked on your craft daily to make your lessons and yourself better, and you've always refined your talents as a teacher. You're a talented tennis player and a golfer and, of course, a world-class sailor. Mr. K has won the master's class at the Sunfish uh, Nationals, many thistle regattas, and was even competing at the world championships of Sunfish. And we know you're going to sail a lot more in retirement. Mr. K, you've been the go-to for help in the department. If anyone had any questions about math, or how to prove something or show something. Most of all, you've never complained. You've always had our back and you've always given your all to Fairport High School. Thank you, Mr. K, for all you've given us. Best wishes and we will miss you. Good morning, my name is Mark Lincoln and I am proud to represent the English department as we honor two of our friends and colleagues who are retiring this year, and Kate Carr and Alice Rao. Mrs. Rao teaches juniors and seniors at the high school. She has such a kind, compassionate way that she runs her classroom that I know her students have always loved the warmth that she offers in that classroom day in and day out. And Mrs. Carr also teaches juniors and seniors. She also leads our alternative education program at the high school. And Mrs. Carr offers unconditional support to her students as well, and also much needed comic relief. I know as Mrs. Carr and Mrs. Rao enter retirement, they're probably thinking of all the wonderful kids they have connected with in their classroom over the years. However, their influence at Fairport High School stretches far beyond the classroom. Mrs. Carr and Mrs. Rao, they represent everything great about the Fairport family. What I like best is that Mrs. Rao and Mrs. Carr are the type of people that seem to always have time for you. No matter how busy or, he or hectic our Fairport High School schedule can feel sometimes, Mrs. Carr and Mrs. Rao are always willing to stop what they're doing, sit with you, talk to you, offer you advice, and to laugh with you. And I know we all so appreciate their years of support. Also, Mrs. Carr and Mrs. Rao raised their kids within the Fairport community. And having their children in our workroom over the years has served as such a powerful reminder to the English teachers of what's important when we go to school every day. It's so easy to get caught up in our lesson plans and curriculum, but watching Mrs. Carr and Mrs. Rao work to raise their kids the right way was a reminder that we are there to support families as we all march through life and try to do our best to go about education the right way. That being said, I, on behalf of many people in the Fairport community, would love to thank Mrs. Carr and Mrs. Rao for their years of service and friendship over the years. And I know we all wish you nothing but happiness in your retirement. Congratulations to all retirees from Fairport Central Schools. Yay! And a special shout out to FHS science teacher, <laughs> Rich Ogneveni. <laughs> Rich is a master teacher of physics and chemistry, but more importantly, a teacher of care. He has spent the last few decades improving the lives of thousands of students and staff. Rich is quite astute and has won New York State and national awards. Rich's passion for fit chemistry, physics, and the scientific process were always evident in his classroom. Fueled by Diet Coke, he engaged students in a rigorous curriculum and had high expectations for their success. He was a wizard with an overhead projector and a piece of chalk. Rich also taught care. He is one of the founding members of Brotherhood Sisterhood Week and a founding advisor of the FHS Gay Straight Alliance. He is the epitome of embracing differences. Rich displayed posters and student photos, 
with duct tape to help create a family atmosphere at FHS. He made strong connections with his students and emphasized civility, respect, and humanity. Students would say that Mr. O taught them how to be a good human. Rich has kept in touch with hundreds of past students, meeting out for dinner, celebrating weddings, communicating via social media, and we know he will continue to enjoy these connections, even if at a social distance. Thank you, Rich, for being an exemplary model of what Fairport educators should strive to be. We will miss your love, friendship, humor, and bowls of Stever's chocolates. Best wishes, 